So to help us take a look at uh, transforms, I just put a rectangle up here. So it's uh, 100 by 100. Uh, so I didn't have to give it an X and a Y because I, I have it plotted there at the origin 0, 0. And what I can do now is I can add a transform attribute. And one of the things that you can do is translate the rectangle. So I could move it over 300 and so right down to the middle. So notice that it's, again, it's plotted by its upper left-hand corner. So that's an alternative to giving it uh, an X and a Y. And you might ask, well, you know, why should you do this when you can just give it an X and a Y? Well, we'll get to examples where it's clearly beneficial to transform what you have as opposed to giving it a fixed x and y coordinate. All right, so let's take that out and let's try. We can also do, so if I just put it back, we can do a rotation. Right, let's try 30. So these are in degrees here, 30 degrees. And so you can see that it's being rotated about the origin there. And then we can also do a scaling. Let's try twice the size. All right, so those are the three things you can do. Translate, rotate, and scale. You can also do transforms together, or you know, one right after another. Uh, but you have to be a little bit careful. So let me put um, a translate in here. And I'll go again to the middle. Okay, and so suppose I now rotate that 30 degrees. Okay, we don't get what we expected. What's happening is that just imagine that there's a bar attached to the origin here to this corner of the rectangle. The rotation is being done around the origin here, so it's just rotating the whole thing 30 degrees. That whole bar gets rotated 30 degrees. And so the rectangle ends up here. So you have to be careful the, about the order in which you do things. If I instead do the following and put rotate after, It's what we expected, rotated about the point where the rectangle is plotted. And the same goes for scale. You would want to scale here. Let's try two. So that's what we expected. It expands out from the point where the rectangle is plotted. If I instead did that in front, we don't even see the rectangle anymore because it's being expanded. Everything's being expanded out from the origin here, right? So you know, everything is made twice as big and the rectangle gets pu pushed out of the picture. All right, so just be, um, you know, pay attention to the order in which you do the transforms. A lot of times I like to use groups and uh, use the groups for my transforms and you'll see uh, we'll do that in the next couple videos. And sometimes it's a little bit easier to think of things that way. Okay, so let's, uh, that's transforms, let's move on to groups.